Hi guys, welcome to Chakri Science Academy, just a minute series where every minute counts in locking the secrets to master your board examination. Today we have come up with a very important topic of grade 10 biology chapter, life process that is transpiration pool or we call it as ascent of sap. So let's understand what is this transpiration pool or ascent of sap. Now, first of all, before we go into the detail, let's look at this tree. It is such a tall tree. Have you ever thought this tree which absorb water at the ground level, how they are able to send the water to such a long, long height? You know, the tallest tree is found to be having a height of 380 feet, which is like quite a lot. So have you ever thought how the water goes upward? They don't have a motor or something, right? So the answer is very, very simple. It's due to the transpiration pull. Now to understand the transpiration pull, we need to first understand what's transpiration. So transpiration is basically, you know, a loss of water in the form of vapor from all the exposed part of these plants, you know? So there's a fact that whatever the trees or a plant absorb the water, they lose 99% of them due to transpiration. So transpiration is such an evil process, but it's also necessary at the same time. Let's so let's understand how it is transported at such a long distance in the taller trees. So answer is very simple. There will be a billions of plant cells. They lose water due to transpiration. Like I told you, whatever the plants absorb the water, 99% of them is lost due to transpiration. So once the water is lost so much, what will happen? The plant cells, they start withdrawing water from the xylem. Now, xylem, we know it's a water conducting tissue and phloem is a food conductive tissue. So, when billions of plant cells are continuously withdrawing the water from the xylem, which we just discussed, it's a water conducting tissue, then the xylem comes under a tension. A negative pressure develops in the xylem and due to this negative pressure, the it creates a suction you know suction like something when you you don't try a cold drink from the straw or the fruit juice you create a suction it creates the pull and the juice or the cold drink comes upward right through the straw similarly that suction i would say this suction you know this suction is created when xylem comes under the tension or the negative pressure and this results in upward pull that is how the taller trees are able to send the water to the top to each and every part of their body and it is just like you know cold drink is sucked with the help of a straw pipe okay but this arises one question that how the water comes continuously when it's pulled upward how come the water column does not break how water is coming up continuously you know that is the question so let's discuss that now so the answer is very very simple thanks to these two forces which is addition and cohesion because of these two forces of attraction the water molecules are pulled upward continuously the water column does not break now what is addition and cohesion let's understand this cohesion is between the water molecules when a water molecules are attracted to each other when they have a force of attraction with each other that is cohesion that keeps the water molecules together now what is addition when the force of attraction is between water molecules and xylem as we know xylem is a water conducting tissue so when force of attraction is between xylem and water that is called adhesion. So these two forces together keeps the water molecules intact and the water column does not break and it comes continuously and it is pulled upward. So now I leave you with one question that find out the name of the scientist who proposed this theory and don't forget to leave the answer in the comment box below and also share it to the friends who need it. Bye bye for now.